Claire, are you there? I think you probably already know what this is about, but... When are you going to give me grandchildren? Oh, hello, Francine. It is nice to hear from you, too. I hope that you have been doing well. I also hope that we were past the point where you always greet me with the same question, but... So basically, you're saying that you're still not pregnant. I can't guarantee things will go well for you in this family if you don't hurry up. So tell me, when do you think you'll finally get pregnant? Well, it's really a matter that is just up to me, you know? I mean, babies are made with two people, so it's not like I can just will myself to become pregnant. And after that, there is the problem of timing it correctly around other life decisions. Basically, I don't think this is really something you can plan out or make an exact schedule for. I was hoping that as a woman that has given birth before that you would be a little more sympathetic to my situation, but... You would be right if you were talking about giving birth back in my day. But things are different now. I mean, surely science and medicine have advanced enough to the point where you can measure out exactly when you'll have one. Hmm, to be honest, I don't think either of us are really qualified to be making those kinds of statements with any kind of real certainty. After all, neither of us are doctors or even in the medical field. Okay then, if that's how you are going to be, then why don't you just go to a hospital, have a doctor examine you, and let them decide when would be best for you? Well, I guess I could do that. But I would want Sam there with me if I did. What? What does my son have to do with you getting pregnant? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm just one person, right? But it takes two people to make a baby. So if I did see a doctor about when we could have one, I would want to go together as a couple. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I just really cannot believe you. Do you know that? Why are you always trying to take my poor Sam down? Sorry? I don't think I quite understand what you mean by that. I only want the best for him. Well, if you put even a second of thought more into this idea of yours, you might understand. Do you know how embarrassing it would be for Sam as a man to go into a maternity clinic? He would be a laughing stock. Everyone would think he's a freak. How can you say you want the best for him when you want to make him degrade himself like that? I'm sorry. I really don't know what I could even say to respond to that. I guess we just don't really see eye to eye on some matters. But that isn't any different than usual. I knew it. Be honest with me. You can't have any kids, can you? Are you asking me if I have some sort of condition? Well, like we've established here... I haven't even been to a doctor to seriously look into the possibilities of having a kid, so I really couldn't tell you. Well then, that is all the more reason to go to the doctors and have them look at you, isn't it? You never know. They might find something, and then you might have to undergo some kind of fertility treatment. Better to catch that sooner than later, I would think. That's fine. But in any case, I still would want to go to the doctor together with Sam. I thought I already told you that that plan was no good. He doesn't belong there. Why do you keep insisting on trying to drag him there? Well, like I said, it takes two people to make a baby. What if the problem isn't with me, but with Sam? I am just thinking that if we are going to go to the doctor, then we might as well cover our bases and make sure we're both able to have kids. Are you trying to insult my poor son? Do you even hear what you are saying about him? I'm not trying to imply anything about anyone. I'm just saying that, medically speaking, neither of us have any confirmation that we can even have kids. I am very sorry, dear. But you have just overstepped several boundaries that you should not have. I am afraid that I will have to talk about this in private with the family. And I'm assuming that your son's wife is not part of said family, correct? Well, of course. What do you have to do with us? Maybe you should just stay in your own lane and do what your mother-in-law tells you to. Hmm? I see. Is that what I should do? Claire, are you there? We need to talk. 
I have discussed matters with the family, and we have come to a conclusion together. I would like to share it with you so we can talk about next steps to take. To begin with, we have all decided that it would be best if you divorced Sam. Excuse me? Why would I do that? Because we all decided together that it would be best. It was one of the things that we all unanimously agreed on, so there was no getting out of it. We all agreed that this family doesn't need a woman in it if she can't give the family any offspring. That is why I am asking you start the divorce process with Sam right away. Oh. Okay. Wow. So it's all been decided already, huh? I feel like I need to ask. Is Sam going to be coming home at all tonight then? Are you crazy? Read what I just sent you. You two are about to get divorced. Of course he isn't going to be coming home to you. But that doesn't really matter for you. The house is under Sam's name anyways, so we also ask that you please leave right away and not put up a fight. Oh, so you were planning to kick me out of the house, too. I see. If that's the case, then you can tell Sam it's fine if he goes home. And just why would I tell him something like that while you are still there? Well, because I've already moved out of the house and I'm staying with a friend. Oh, really? Have you now? Yes. And don't worry, I've already filled out my share of the divorce papers and left them at the house. Please tell Sam to submit them after he signs where he needs to. Then the two of us will be legally divorced. Oh. Well, I suppose I must thank you for making this much easier than I thought it would be. I'm glad you finally started to see some reason. As for splitting up our things, since we were only married for about half a year, I think most of accounts and belongings are still pretty personal and not shared. I don't think there will be any huge need to divide up our property, but if anything comes up, feel free to contact me about it. Okay, I'll be taking my leave now. Please hurry and turn in the signed divorce paper so this can end quickly. Claire, I am messaging to let you know that I sent ahead those signed papers the day after we talked. But I haven't heard anything since. Is everything on track for the divorce? Unless... Just as I thought. You didn't really want to get divorced, and so you used this as a distraction while you ran away. Oh, Francine. I was just thinking of messaging you. Your timing is impeccable. And if you must know, your little accusation could not be farther from the truth. I asked you guys to submit the papers, but instead you apparently mailed them to my parents for some reason? They had to send them to me, and I just got them earlier today. I don't see why we should have to submit them. Really? When you're the one nagging me about the divorce? Typical. Anyway, I finished up with the paperwork and sent it all off to be processed just a little bit ago. You did? Wow, that was really, really fast. Thank you. I actually was thinking about messaging you because I just got back home from dropping off those papers. As of now, we have nothing left holding us together. You and I are just two random people living in society with no reason to ever contact each other again. Oh. Really? Well, I... Thanks for the last six months, I guess. I'd say it's been fun, but... You know. Anyways, see you. That's right. You're no one to me now. You and I and our families are severed. Now my little Sam is single again. But I'm not worried. I know he'll find a nice wife before he knows it. And this time, I will make sure to do a proper examination of the girl and ensure she is the right girl for my Sam. And that she can actually give us grandchildren. So many things to do. I'll be so busy from here on out. Hello, Claire. It has been a while, hasn't it? Actually, I think it's already been something like three years. Isn't that incredible? You know, this isn't the first time that I tried to reach out to you. But I think that you must have blocked my number. 
Recently, I had Sam help me buy a new phone and get a new number. So I assume these messages are getting through now. Oh, wow. Sorry, but when you say Sam... Is this Francine? Yes. Was that not obvious from the messages I just sent? You should have been able to put that together. It is nice to hear from you two. Anyways, is there something you need from me, Francine? <laughs> That's rich. You get a message from me and you dare to pretend like you don't know what this is about. No, I don't know what this is about. Why else would I ask unless I didn't know? But if I am being honest, I really just want you to spit out whatever you need from me so that we can hurry up and get through this faster. Claire, there is no need to play dumb with me. I know the truth already. Stop with these games right now. Look, I have a lot going on in my life, and if there's anyone without time to play games, it's me. So can you please just tell me what this is about? How could you, Claire? How could you try to hide something so huge from me? Did you really think I would never find out? Excuse me? You think I've been hiding something from you while you haven't even been in my life the past three years? I told you that I wasn't interested in playing your games, Claire. Don't play dumb. I have so many witnesses who have caught you red-handed. There is no point in lying anymore. Just admit the truth so we can have a conversation like real adults. Francis, you need to read what I am writing to you right now, okay? I do not have a single clue what the heck you are talking about. Do you understand me? And if you are just going to talk around the topic at hand, then the conversation can't go anywhere because you aren't telling me what it is you want to talk about. I have a friend who lives in your neighborhood. I've asked her to stake out your house for me before. She's seen you with my grandson. What are you talking about? But it is okay. I will forgive your lying and playing dumb. I have decided that I am ready to re-welcome you to my family. That is why I am messaging you now. You are what? What are you talking about right now? What grandson? You and Sam's little boy. And I know that you had a kid after the divorce. So you bring my grandchild back to me right now. Your... grandchild? But I have never given birth. Don't you lie to me! I know that you had a child, and I know you did it with Sam. That's my grandson. I'm his grandmother, and I have a right to meet him. But I haven't even had any kids. I really honestly don't know what you're talking about. Don't try and hide it anymore. I am telling you that I know the truth. I even asked my friend to take photos of you two together. You can't deny the evidence. You sent someone to spy on and take photos of me? It doesn't matter anymore. I've almost arrived to your house to take you back. Pack your essentials and get ready to leave right away. Your what? What is going on here? What is this? Claire! You should have told me that you live in such a lovely home. I never knew. You even have a lovely yard for the boy to run around in. Why, this place looks just marvelous to raise a family. Actually, maybe I shouldn't be taking you home at all. This house looks huge. I'm sure you have plenty of extra room. I'm sure it would be more than simple for me and Sam to move in here instead. Claire! Are you going to answer the door? Don't keep me waiting! Oh, wow. You really did have my address. I really didn't want to believe you. Francine, the doorbell is really loud and can bother neighbors. Can you please stop ringing it? If you want me to stop, then you better get down here right now and answer this door. You should know better than to leave your husband and mother-in-law waiting outside here. Francine... This isn't my house that we're at right now. Oh, it's not your house. Is that so? I assume that if you're ringing the bell, you already passed by the mailbox with the family's name written on it, right? The mailbox? I didn't check it at all, but... 
Oh, that's curious. I don't think I've heard of this family before. And it's certainly not your maiden name. Anyways, Francine, you are trespassing here. You don't have any permission from the actual owners to be here. I think that about a block down on the right side of the street, there should be a cafe. It's a red brick building. I think it would be quite hard to miss. Can you please go and wait there? I will go and meet you in a couple minutes. I don't know what kind of nonsense you are trying to pull here. But if this really is someone else's house, then I'll go to that cafe instead. And make sure to bring me my grandson when you come here. Or else you'll regret it. Do you hear me? Claire! What is the meaning of this? You better explain yourself to me right this instant. Who is this guy you sent to come speak for you? You know this whole time he was talking like you two were together or something like that. Whoever this guy is, he clearly has the wrong idea and you need to set him straight. I've never met such a rude man. Did you know he is even calling himself your husband? Yes, that is correct. We got married two years ago. Are you being serious? And does he know about your son with Sam? You mean... Are you trying to tell me that you are raising my grandchild together with this random man? What is wrong with you, woman? No. Think about it, Francine. No son of mine would be your grandson. No. You're wrong, Claire. I've done the math in my head, and it adds up. Just by looking at him, I can tell that you probably got pregnant with this kid around the time that you submitted your divorce papers. Even if your math was anywhere near right, this kid is in no way related to you. How? That doesn't make any sense. Explain yourself right now. Unless... Don't tell me. You cheated on Sam. I am pretty sure that the kid you saw was my husband's son from a previous marriage. What? He had a kid from a previous marriage. That's right. He was a single father when we got married. And you still married him? What were you thinking? Okay then. Well, if that kid is his, then where is my grandchild? Still not really understanding what's going on here, huh? Quit hiding him from me and let me meet him right now. It isn't right what you're doing to us. Lady, look. I have told you I don't know how many times yet. I have not had any kids of my own yet. I have nothing I could hide from you even if I wanted to. Do you understand me? I'm sick of talking to you like this. If you're so sure about all of this, then why don't you come here and face me yourself? Or did you really just think you could drag Sam and I around and drop us off wherever you wanted as long as it was out of your hair? If you think we are going to leave without ever seeing you once, then you are sorely mistaken. Come here right now. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Francine. But after all, you were the one who came here uninvited. Anyways, there is no way I am going down there to meet you. So you're just going to run away again? You coward. No, I'm not running. But I'm doing what I think is best for the kid I have inside of me right now. The... What did you just say? We just found out. So there will need to be many more exams. But we are hoping that the fetus is growing and healthy. And I want it to stay that way. Which is why I am going to do my best to keep it out of harm's way. And that especially includes meeting you in person. You mean... That means that... You can get pregnant? Isn't that the whole reason that you reached out to me in the first place? Because you had heard that I had already had a kid of my own? Well, yes, but... I just came here so that I could confirm for myself whether or not what my friend told me was true. And if it wasn't, then I was completely ready to go back to thinking you were just a barren old shrew. Okay, well... That was really rude. Can you two please just go home now? Sam and I are already divorced. We have nothing holding us together. No need to be in each other's lives anymore. I thought we had already established this. It shouldn't be news. But... This changes things now. If you can get pregnant, then that means you really could have another chance with my Sam. It's not too late. 
You think I even want another chance with Sam? Like some kind of betting game or the stakes are my whole life or something? What's the matter? Come now, don't be so dramatic. And besides, just what is wrong with getting back together with Sam anyways? Everything. I mean, isn't it just like you said? It was the same when we talked about the divorce. Did he ever push back on what you said? It's already been three years since we were together, but I still remember. There was one time that we were together, and at the dinner table, you just kept hurling abuse at me. And he just sat there, saying nothing and looking down at the table. And just what is wrong with that? It's not his place to interrupt me, so I don't see any issue there. Oh my goodness. Do you really need me to spell it out for you? Just what are you talking about? Just spit it out. I am saying that I don't want to marry a man with an Oedipal complex. What? You think my son thinks of me like that? You're sick. And if you think that I am going to go back to living with a husband who wants to sleep with his mother while she bullies me mercilessly, well then, you are just delusional. I will never go back to that. Never. You think he has a complex? Yes, that's what I just said. Your son is a little weirdo in love with his even stranger mother. What did you just say to me? It doesn't matter. In any case, you're lucky that I am pregnant and shouldn't be getting mad at you. For the sake of the baby. So I will be ending this conversation now. Wait right there. You have to remarry Sam. He's got no one else. And besides, what am I supposed to do? I've already gone around to all my neighbors to tell them that you have my grandson and that you and Sam are going to get remarried. Do you know how embarrassing it will be for me to go around and tell them all that that wasn't true? Just imagine it. You wouldn't want me to go through with that. Please, everything will be okay if you just marry Sam again. I need this. Claire, are you listening to me? I am being serious right now. This isn't a game. After that, Francine and Sam tried showing up at the house again and refused to leave. Finally, my husband got so mad that he went outside and told them that if they didn't leave, he would call the police. That seemed to work, and they hightailed it out of there. Later, I heard from another person in the neighborhood that there was a strange lady going on and stopping young women and asking them to carry her son's child. Needless to say, the police were called before long. Maybe Sam did end up going to get examined to see if he could have kids. I wonder if they had bad news for him. I shouldn't be making assumptions, but after all this happened, I heard that Sam suddenly had a huge change of character. He left his house and his clingy, controlling mother. Apparently, he did not leave quietly, though, and many people saw him shouting that he didn't like his mom in that way as he stormed out. As for Francine... Now she lives a sad life all alone in her home.